Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for uh, for waiting. It was a tough fight. Katie's been stitched up, I think, Amanda as well, and I know she's already spoken. Um, there's a lot of you, and we're very grateful for that. We're not going to stay too long, because as I said, Katie had a very tough fight. But firstly, I just want to thank Madison Square Garden, DAZN, all the media for just the most incredible night. You know, we built this as the biggest female fight of all time. Um, and it became one of the biggest fights in boxing today, but what you witnessed was one of the greatest fights, I believe, in the history of Madison Square Garden, and uh, both, both women deserve so much credit, and I think now, to be honest, is the night that we stop talking about women's and men's boxing, just, just boxing, because that was one of the best fights I've ever witnessed live, so congratulations to Katie Taylor. And we're going to go to the floor for questions. Jake Donovan, I believe, you're first. Thanks. Hey, Katie, congratulations. Uh, incredible. Everyone here, it's, you know, fight of the year, just Thank probably the event of the year. Yeah. For you, you became the undisputed champion in this building three years ago. I know you were displeased with your performance. How important was it for you to deliver a career-defining def performance tonight? Um, yeah, I mean, I think the most important thing is always to come out uh, as a winner, regardless of uh, how, uh, you know, I, I performed uh, well or not. But... Yeah, tonight was uh, just fantastic. I had to dig deep in there tonight. <laughs> I had to produce a career defined uh, performance to actually win tonight. And um, what an amazing champion Amanda is as well. Um, a phenomenal fighter. <laughs> and uh, we definitely um, we definitely got the best out of each other tonight, that's for sure. Um, but, you know, everyone was talking about coming into this fight. It was, it was the biggest fight in women's boxing history. But I think it actually exceeded everything that was... Uh, that people are talking about this week, and um, yeah, just even walking out to the ring, uh, walking out to the ring today, just looking at the packed stadium, um, unbelievable. So this is it was absolutely special, special moments. Uh, the best night of my career for for sure. Uh, I I wasn't uh, sure if anything could have, could um, reach my Olympic gold medal moment, but tonight was absolutely the best moment of my career. Wow. Yeah. So, um, all, yeah, definitely, give it up. <laughs> all three judges had you winning the final three rounds to pull out the victory. Did you sense that you needed those three rounds to win this? Uh, yeah, I came back, and uh, I guess that's what was my corner was saying. I needed, I needed the championship rounds, and uh, I did what I had to do. I, I showed that the champion's heart in there, as I always do. Um, I think uh, time and time again, time and time again, I always show that, that, that champion's heart when I need to, and... I don't leave when I needed to tonight. I was in the trenches again tonight, and I, um, those are the, those are career defining moments for sure. Yeah, Katie you. Sean Vaughan here. Congrats. <laughs> Already the Serrano team are here. They're only gone about ten minutes, and they more or less said they'd come to Dublin for the return. Yeah. Eddie, <laughs> what do you think? They all agreed they would prepare to come to Dublin. Will you give a return? fight me well you're Karen the boss Katie give her <laughs> yeah. Will you I, mean, Katie? I mean yeah. i think talk about the rematch first yeah if it was a fight you'd be interested in and i'll talk about Ireland. absolutely um we we all want to see the best yeah. versus the best of it um yeah i mean absolutely um a rematch would be absolutely phenomenal and if it was in dublin we could sell out crow park i'd say nine thousand people <laughs> Um, so that will be unbelievable. We we seen something special here tonight. Imagine fighting in front of eighty or ninety thousand people in Crow Park. Um, ab absolutely, that that can happen. Yeah, if, she's, <laughs> if she'll still let me, unless you know something I don't. I don't know. But, um, Fifty years ago, Muhammad Ali fought in Crow Park. Yeah. Yeah, of course. I mean, look, that felt like Croke Park tonight. I mean, it was just incredible. And uh, I'm not sure we'll get as many travelling Puerto Ricans. Um, but, you know, it, it would always, and it has always been on our minds and would feel a big shame if she didn't get a chance to fight in Ireland, you know, during her career. So um, if we could do that, you know, and, and back end of the summer, I said, you know, it was a, a tough fight. She's going to need some rest. Not too much rest knowing Katie, but... <laughs> Certainly, certainly on the mind of us all. Where did you find the strength or the character or whatever it was 
to come back after uh, after round five when you did ship probably more punishment in that round than maybe in your entire career? How did I come back? Yeah, like where did you get the courage and, and the strength to come back? Um, I think the courage and the strength uh, comes back in those moments just purely from the hard work that I actually put in and training camp over the last few months. It's in those moments uh, that the hard work pays off in training. I don't just show courage and I'll fly and I show courage every single day training, day after day after day, in hard spars, um, week after week. and. Um, and that's exactly why you train hard for the, for those uh, moments when you actually are in the trenches. And she's just built different. She got balls of steel. I don't care what you want to call it. <laughs> Katie. Thanks. Katie. I don't know what this is. <laughs> Katie over here. Down here. Uh, hi. Hi, Katie. A uh, couple things. First, like you're talking about the fifth round, was, did Amanda do something or change anything up in the fourth and fifth or fifth and sixth to really be able to get in and land more shots than she had been doing the first few rounds? Um, I, I don't think she did anything differently. I just probably stood there a bit too, too long uh, myself probably and just um, made it into a bit of a tear-up uh, as I always do, unfortunately. Um, I think I was boxing very, very well, obviously, in the, in the early rounds, and I just got, um, just got uh, stuck uh, just, just in a fight with her. Um, but, yeah, I can't, I can't say that she, she did anything differently. Um, I just love a tear up every, every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you talked about how you thought maybe tonight even exceeded expectations. Was there a moment that when you look back at everything, whether it was the walk-up, whether it was the walk-in, anything like that, that made you say, whoa, this is something different? I think even at the weigh-in yesterday, um, I did not expect to have a weigh-in of that magnitude even. Um, you're, you're seeing all the Puerto Rican fans, all the, the traveling Irish fans, seeing all the Puerto Rican flags and the Irish flags around the place. The atmosphere even yesterday for the weigh-in was unbelievable. It was, it was like something like a, an Anthony Joshua weigh-in or a Canelo weigh-in. I never, uh, I never experienced anything, anything like that um, throughout my professional career. And then just selling them as a square garden here tonight. Just the atmosphere was amazing. Tonight was just very, 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 very special. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Do, do you feel like you elevated your sport tonight? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, tonight, uh, th we, we were saying before that um, in Madison Square Garden, you're thinking of Muhammad Ali and Joe Frazier. People will absolutely be talking about um, my, myself and Amanda Serrano for years and years to come. This was a history-making fight, and I definitely uh, lived up to that expectation. Thanks. Yeah. Hey, you just looked when you were coming out that you were sort of taking everything in. What was going through your mind when you came out and you seen the crowd and all those Irish flags? It must have been an extremely proud moment. Oh, incredible. I just want to thank all the, the Irish people for actually travelling over. What, the, the support was unbelievable. Every ever, Thanks, Eddie. So hard, <laughs> um, I think every, uh, every fight I've had, uh, the support has been incredible. But tonight was very, very special, both for myself and Amanda. Um, you know, the... We, we represent our, our nations very, very proudly. And just seeing so many Irish flags, so, so the support was just incredible. Yeah. Did you pick the song? You usually don't, do you? I did pick the song, yeah. It looks like you were doing it. Yeah, Ross just told me before uh, we, we uh, walked out just to soak it and enjoy the occasion, and and that's exactly what I was trying to do there. Yeah. K Katie? What have been the main difficulties to get to this point? And also, how does it feel and what does it mean to you to now be an inspiration to so many women with big dreams and especially young girls? Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's uh, the best part about this journey is being able to inspire young girls, inspire the next generation. And, um, I think both myself and Amanda have broken down so many barriers over the last few years in, in our sport, and I guess we're both winners in a certain way. And tonight, just uh, what what we actually did, what we actually achieved, um, absolutely is going to inspire a lot of young girls. after after that fight, Casey, uh, Casey, a magnificent performance, and it was actually Casey over here, okay. and actually genuinely moving to watch you and Amanda. It was fantastic, Thank you. but. 
easy for us to say on the outside, but it went so quickly. And I felt like too many rounds just don't do justice to fighters of your magnitude. Do you feel the time is now to make, move up to three minute rounds? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't actually know uh, what the wrong answer plan is. There's pros and cons to either time, you know, it's like, I don't know if now's the time to decide what, how long the fight should be. We just had 20 minutes of grueling war there. I mean, yeah. You know? I mean, I mean, the one thing that I think is helped women's boxing is the fast paced nature of the fight. And I don't think you'd get that same fast pace. I do think you may see more stoppages, but I don't think you see the more in, the same intensity sure. over, the, over the three minutes. So I've always felt that while we're introducing the audience to women's boxing over two minutes, it's fast paced, it's exciting, it's working. And when you watch that fight tonight, yeah. Would it have been better over three minutes? Maybe, maybe not. But I don't know, it's, it's a tough call. I do think eventually at some point, I don't think all women's boxing should be over, over three minute rounds. But you know, um, tonight you saw a fantastic product, and it was a two-minute round product. But I do I always think we should always look at trying to evolve in some way. I don't know the rest of it. And yeah, uh, but there was about six thousand uh, Irish yeah. tonight. Uh, I think you do uh, well to have six hundred. And, and we're making jokes. If Amanda goes to Ireland and and she will skate, the third one have to be Puerto Rico. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, and and for and for Katie, one of the judges even gave the 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 fifth round ten eight. Was there any thought after that round? Because you seem to be pretty hurt at that round. Uh, to your credit, you. You took a second win and a girl or bird. How hurt were you? Um, I don't think I was as hurt as people may think. Um, but no, I, I wasn't worried. I obviously knew it was a tough, tough round for me, and I knew that that was Amanda's round, but I, I wasn't coming back concerned or anything. I knew that I was okay, I was stable uh, coming back to the corner, and I just had to regroup, reset, and, uh, and I actually won the, the next round, I believe, uh, after that. So. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, regardless um, of whether it was a tough round for me or not, I always come back and, and, and show the heart that I need to, to, actually, uh, to actually come true. Yeah. No, oh, well, <laughs> I'd love to sit here, Billy Big Balls, and go, he can keep it. But we were, we were actually advised that, as promoters, we shouldn't be betting on our own fights, um, which I feel dreadful about now, because would have been beautiful to take a million off him, but um, give and giving. I was, I, would, I would just like to say I was a hundred percent giving it to you, honestly. <laughs> like you know, um, sure. but we, we we're coming up with something else for charity. But yeah, um, it was just nice to beat him, to be honest with you, because genuinely, money aside, I it would have been really difficult to take. Listen to him. Oh well. Uh, Every loss is difficult to take, isn't it? Um, I'm very, very competitive. I come in here to, to want to be the best. Um, I came into this fight um, knowing that this was a career to final fight, and it would have been very, very diff uh, disappointing if I didn't come out victorious, and I was going to do everything that I could do to actually win tonight. Casey, Casey, sorry. Um, I just... I wouldn't say it was a focus, I just have fast hands. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, uh, congratulations. Sorry. Sorry. Oh. Are the shots you took by any female fighters before? I'm a couple of rounds in the center of it. The legs got in the middle of it. Wrong thing to say to Katie Taylor. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, wrong thing to say. I, I think it was more of a balancing rather than actually my legs put on. Yes, yeah, she, she was definitely um, a, a hard puncher for sure. But uh, but I have a great chin, so um, uh, so yeah, I wasn't concerned going into the fight. But definitely, she she's known to be a big puncher, isn't she? Um, so yeah.
Katie, can I just ask you, you've, you've achieved, over here, sorry, Katie, yeah. uh, congratulations. Uh, you've achieved everything you've ever set out to achieve, really, all your dreams. Have you, have you ever thought about walking away the moment that you will walk away, or is that fight in Dublin the one thing that's keeping you going? Yeah, I mean, I have no plans of retiring right now. I, I love my sport. Uh, I, I love fighting, and um, I just want to keep making history. I want to keep, uh, keep doing what I'm doing, I guess. And on a separate note, what will you do tomorrow and over the next few days? What are you looking forward to doing? Um, I'm just looking forward to not getting punched in the face for a few weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just going to take it easy with the family. That they're all over here, so I'm just going to um, relax with them for, for the day. Uh, but an amazing night for myself and my family. Uh, we're just absolutely over the moon. The biggest night in my career. Uh, there's definitely no shortage of big fights, that's for sure. Um, what do you think, Eddie? Yeah, I mean, I think the, the great thing about Amanda and Katie is they, need, they needed each other to find that fight of that magnitude. Katie's been involved in some big fights, but obviously that was the biggest. And, you know, there's going to be a lot of people that would be interested in seeing the rematch. She's got all the belts. Um, she'll continue to call the shots. And, you know... Myself, Brian, and Ross, and everyone will will talk about the future. I know Madison Square Garden have already said to me, "Please bring the rematch back here in September, or October." Obviously, we've got Ireland to consider as well, and and uh, you know, I think tonight was just about getting a win and letting everything else fall into place after that. Couple more guys, because Katie's. Uh, yeah. Um, Christy Martin, um, but. I think it's safe to say that nobody should be compared to um, Katie Taylor. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're great champions. I think, I think when you look at what Katie has done from the amateur game to the Olympics, you know, to, to how she's opened so many doors. And I actually said on social media tonight, I said she's paved the way for so many people, but tonight is about herself. But Katie's very selfless. She wants to inspire the next generation without actually realising that these moments are what she's worked for and she's created. And that was nice about the ring walk tonight because a lot of the time she's been on the coattails of other shows. You know, when she boxed Pursuit here, she was on the Anthony Joshua card. Tonight they were all here for her. And it was the first time really I've seen her walk out and sort of soak it up. And, and she deserved that moment because it's nice to give to others. It's nice to pave the way for others but you should also be very proud of what you've achieved when, when you've achieved what Katie Taylor has. Eddie, you fight, I think it actually exceeded what you said. Um, I asked you to compare to Joshua Ruiz. The noise here mm -hmm. was even greater than that fight. Is it possible to make an even bigger event Who knows? I mean, tonight, when Joel Fisher and the tremendous team at MSG said, we have to take this to the big room, I was a little bit nervous. You know, I knew it would do well. I didn't know we'd sell it out. But you're right. The one thing that people keep talking about about tonight was the noise. Not just how many people were there, but the noise and the passion. And that's what makes a great event. Luckily enough, I've promoted two events at Madison Square Garden in, in the main arena. One was Joshua Rees, which hurt badly, but was, was still an event that people said, we'll remember that for the rest of our lives. And tonight, Katie gave us a fight that everyone will remember again for the rest of their lives. And as a promoter, you can't ask for more, that people leave the arena getting value for money, but also having memories that they'll remember forever. And, and Katie and Amanda gave us those memories tonight. Eddie, um, Jacob earlier, saying that... Um, after the fight that you actually said it was a draw, you said to him personally that it was a draw. Is that, is that true? No, I said to him after eight rounds that it could be 4-4. I, I thought Katie won the fight 6-4, to be honest with you. And, but to be honest, like, sometimes when a fight's close like 6-4, if it is a draw, which I don't think would have been fair to Katie, sometimes you take it on the chin. I mean, I said to Ross, Ross said to me, I think we got it, but it's close. You know, we all felt it was a close fight. But when it's also 6-4, it can be 7-3 which was what one of the judges gave it. So if you want to go either way, but Jake also said that it was a robbery on social media and 
he didn't know who'd won the fight when he got in the ring. So, I mean, sometimes he doesn't know where he is, to be honest with you. But, but on a serious note, like, away from that, thank you to MVP. They have, they have brought a lot to this event and they've worked hard for Amanda to, to make it the spectacle that it was. So, you know, thank you. And thank you to everybody else. And thank you to the undisputed lightweight world champion, Katie Sullivan.